Hello vagina people and welcome to Poopistan and Cassis News. I'll start with the Poopistan news because quite a few things have happened. So first of all, the Poopy Games were held on May 26th in End Village City. Now, this year they were at a smaller scale, only 12 places were allowed to compete and there were only 3 games. Those being Might Racing, which was won by Town Center, Swimming, which was won by Smaragdin, and Might Maze, which was won by North Emeraldia. On the same day, it was also the Nation of Georgia's Independence Day in real life. Just wanted to mention that. And later on May 30th, it was Poopy Nafai and Friendship Day. Additionally, Poopy San is currently preparing for two things, those being Independence Day on Wednesday next week, as well as the elections next month, probably around mid-July. I mean, I already know who's gonna win, it's not even a question. I should just make Poopy Stan a monarchy at this point. And, and with that, we move on to Cassius News. And all I have to talk about right now is basically protests, but there is one thing which is a new place in the Casus, the island of Machil, or should I say islands. It is located between Funorakia and Japan, it was made by Norsi. Here's the flag. Banger. I'd say Norsi cooked with this one. And it's divided between Siovia and Lovatkra, despite being a tiny-ass island. Next up we have something that already happened a month or two ago, but it's still ongoing, which is the protest in the nation of Thuringushistan on Poop Planet against certain influence on the country. Now previously these protests were limited to the capital, Tindritong, but they've now spread throughout the entire country and just in the capital alone. Around 120 people have been killed by the police during these protests. And there's also certain troops in the country doing the same thing. Now the United Dimensions has sent peacekeeping troops into the country. They're not really doing much though. Moving on to another dimension, I'd like to talk about the interdimensional city of Tanea, which isn't a country or a territory, but it's still recognized by the UD as a place. And it's also currently undergoing protests. Now, what you need to know about Tanea is that it's only about 30% ethnically Tanean. The rest are Smaragdine who have moved into the country and are now basically in control of the country. I say country, I mean place. There's no word for it. And also, of those natives, only around half, so 15% of the entire population, speaks the native Tanyachin language, which also happens to be illegal to speak in public. People with native names get smart the names they have to use instead, and it's not taught anywhere. So currently, you have a lot of natives protesting to, well, get their rights back. And because the UD doesn't have any kind of presence in Tanya at all, we barely know what's going on. And finally, I'd like to talk about Poop Town, specifically the state of the New Crozace, which is a small archipelago in southwestern Poop Town, the French one. And that's really all they're known for, being French culturally and having some nice beaches. But the New Crozets are currently in what could be called a civil war. Now, it all started with protests against the local governor, Trenbin, who was basically exposed for being a corrupt fuck who just chills in the mainland all the time with other politicians instead of caring for his people. And because the New Crozets is generally not doing well economically, this kind of just made it worse, so they're kind of sick of it, and they started protesting. And now it's kind of gotten even more out of control with local militias starting to be formed, and some protests having escalated into violent conflicts. It is unsure if there's actually going to be a civil war in this part of Poop Town. There are very small separatist movements that aren't really supported by anyone from the general public or the government. But if those get access to weapons and start to also commit acts of terrorism, it could very well become a civil war. And finally, also in Poop Town, or, well, soon to be Poop Town, the two separatist regions trying to join the country in the north, the North Poopers and the Poop Cliffs. These two republics have previously been recognized by Poop Town, which was good because it was kind of a move towards actually integrating them into the country, but nothing's really happened since then, and Poop Town just doesn't care enough to actually annex these two places into the country. So, it's still not sure if these will ever actually become part of Poop Town. They're still not recognized by any other country, and that's basically all there is to say about these places. So that was it for Cassus News, and I will see you guys again next week, or two weeks, or whenever I record again.